tuning in tonight. My name is Anne Salem and I'm the head of makeup artistry at Clarence. But I have a super special guest with me tonight, the amazing Noni Smith. Hello, Noni. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining in and watching us have a little bit of fun this afternoon. Yeah, we are going to have a lot of fun. Not only is Noni going to help us create an amazing look on our wonderful model, but she's going to share some special insights, some industry expertise, and of course, her own tips and tricks on how to use our amazing Clarence products. Now, Noni, who are we going to work on tonight? We have the absolutely stunning Olivia. Let's bring her in. Hello, Olivia. Hello. Welcome. Stunning. We're going to start. With we're going to start. We're going to get straight in there. I think Noni's going to get straight in and we create uh, an amazing look on Miss Close Olivia using our hydro essential mist. Yeah, I love this. Oh yes. Tones and hydrates. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yes, I'm I do sure I love that everyone. product. Just let everyone see what we've just used. How does it feel? Very refreshing. Smell nice. Smell yeah. Seven. And next, I'm going to go straight in with this glorious lip oil that I'm yes. obsessed with. Yes. With this beautiful doe foot applicator. Doe foot applicator. And yeah. this honey colour, I love to put on at the start of makeup just to like hydrate the lip, get rid of any sort of dry, cracky surface. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So you prep the lip with the honey first. Straight up. And then let it sort of sink in. Yep. Oh, I like that. So that's the honey. That's the lip comfort oil in honey. So that's a mask sort of for your lips. Next, mm. we're going with the beautiful double serum, which is our iconic. One of my star products, yeah. really. It's an iconic product for mm -hmm. us. I'm going to just use my fingers and rub that in. This what do is, you love about it? I love the glow that it gives. And the other thing that I really love is that it doesn't peel up under makeup, which most serums do, I find. Yeah, you're right, actually. It mm -hmm. sits so beautifully on the skin. That's because it's mm. oil and water and they mix mm. so beautifully. That looks amazing. Glorious. I like mixing it in with foundations too to thin them out a little. Yep, that's a great tip, actually. Mixing your double serum in with your foundation, getting it nice and smooth and blendable. We're getting you all prepped up on that skin of yours. Next, this gorgeous day cream. Rubbing between fingers is my mm -hmm. favourite method of application and then pressing. Mm -hmm. Very Clarence. Yes, yeah, very Clarence. And that's the multi-active day cream. Now, this is the, there we do have a lot of uh, creams available depending on your skin type, your concern. This is suitable for Olivia's skin type because she's quite youthful and she needs just a very light uh, moisturisation. Mm, is that hydrating? Dry. Super hydrating. Mm. Look at that glow already. That glow. Beautiful. Good. Mm. So... And how, does it, how do the lips feel so far? Because we've masked them all up. Very smooth. Mm. I typically have dry skin and this is just, uh, dry lips and this feels amazing. Oh, great. Next we are going to go in, this is, we're starting to make up prep now. Yes. Finish some skin prep. First mm -hmm. up, the SOS Primer. Oh, great. So this is the first step in your makeup. Now, for those of you joining in at home, some of you have received a goodie bag and I think this is in one of those boxes where you can Feel the texture, it's quite a glowy, um, oil-free finish. However, it's got the organic leaf of light, so it's quite hydrating and lush, but it leaves quite a luminous finish on the skin without in, uh, correcting with the colour at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Isn't that stunning? Mm -hmm. I love it. It feels so nice. So beautiful. That lovely surface is going to be perfect oh, for yes. our next step. Now, our next step is a bit of a, uh, a secret today. So we're giving you an insight into a product that we actually haven't launched yet. Um, and it's, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I probably pumped out a little much because that goes a really long way. Yeah. It's highly pigmented. I'm hold it up to the camera a little bit there. So that's, you think that's too much for Olivia's I probably face. brought out a little too much for Olivia because I've realised this goes a really long way. Yeah. And this, for everyone watching at home, this is the Skin Illusion Velvet. Some of you have received a little dram in your goodie bag. Keen to hear what you think about the texture and the finish. This is what actually uh, Noni is using over the top of all that amazing skin prep. Mm -hmm. So really skin prep is key with a matte foundation. Absolutely, because I like the skin to still have a beautiful glow to it, even though it has a matte finish foundation. Mm -hmm. A lot of matte foundations have scared me in the past because they do look very dry on the skin and emphasize sort of the, the the things you don't want people to see right so what i love about this is, is the hyper real sort of skin look yeah turn this way sweetheart yep. matching this i'm actually matching this down to the neck and the shoulder yeah so perfect. while it may look a little dark on her skin straight up it's because we're matching she's got obviously skin exposed so it's mm -hmm. important to make sure you're matching to mm -hmm. that skin that looks so good. Isn't it stunning? And I, I like to use fingers because I, I find it helps you blend this 
better. It's it's a quick blend, this one. Well, because our you've actually hit the nail on the head. Because our makeup is infused with skincare benefits, applying it with your fingers actually uh, suits it perfectly. It's warmed and it, it really uh, mixes so well. Mm. Now, it, let's say, for example, someone doesn't want it so matte. What were you telling me that you did before? Oh, I love to mix a double serum into it if you want a bit more of a glowy finish. So if it's a bit too matte or if you want it a little bit more glowy, absolutely mixing our double serum from the small uh, dropper in with your foundation. Yeah, that looks we've got such a beautiful here. skin prep going on there. This blending is really quite oh, easy. And the lips are looking nice and yep. hydrated and still mm -hmm. looking. Don't forget to go over your eyelids. Don't forget to go over the eyelids. Mm -hmm. Make a nice base under there. And the other thing that I find is you've got your hair up, you've got very white ears, make sure you put a little bit on them. <laughs> I agree. That is a great tip, especially if you've got your hair up and if you've got a special occasion and you don't want these, I, I sometimes, sometimes put a bit of bronzer on the top of your ears as well. Exactly. That's always good. Yeah. I'm just going with a sponge just to mm -hmm. take away a little bit of excess and help that blending process. I think everyone at home is thinking, when can I get this on my skin? Look how gorgeous Look her at skin that. is. Oh my gosh, the glow is amazing. Now you do a lot of runway, Noni. Do you think that a matte look is in for runway or do you think that it'll still be that glowy sort of a look on the skin? I think kind of like a very natural sort of satin finish is, mm -hmm. is perfect for me. Not too not too sheeny, not too shiny and not too matte. Oh yes. Yeah. True. Very true. Now you recently now I I noticed that you're doing matte and the lips the lips are quite uh glossy and quite full. What is it about that that you think? You think matte, matte face, glossy lips? I think it's nice to have the juxtaposition, you know, mm -hmm. like the contrast of a really glossy lip next to a satin skin or a more matte skin. Mm -hmm. And and likewise the opposite. I love mm -hmm. a really matte lip against a very glossy skin. Yeah, exactly. No, I think it looks beautiful. And I think it's all about skin, isn't it? Maybe it is. Keeping oh, the it's skin totally as fresh. about yeah. skin. I mean, if you just have beautiful skin and a mascara, yeah. and then the next step, which so we're clean. going to do, oh, is my, my favourite. Yes. I'm obsessed with all of these colours of the lip oils. And we've got eight shades of these lip oils. It looks quite opaque in the bottle, but it's quite sheer on application. It is. Of course, it still has the amazing jojoba oil. It has our sweetbriar rose oil and our hazelnut oil. So it's so nourishing and hydrating on the lips. And what colour mm, are you using? I'm Matt? using the incredible cherry. Oh, yes. This applicator is awesome as well. Like, yes. I, just open a tiny bit for me, honey. This applicator just hugs the lip. It covers the whole lip really quickly. Mm. You Feels know, that, incredible. You know, there's 30% plant oils in this beauty beautiful little baby here no wonder it feels so nice and smooth it's not sticky at all no how does it feel how does it feel on your lips very smooth yeah it's not sticky at all mm, nice and light mm -hmm. and that's cherry oh my goodness this one's cherry that i love all the colors depending on the skin tone of the girl for instance i used all the different colors at the recent zimmerman show mm -hmm. all the girls wanted them mm -hmm. i had to hide them i bet but <laughs> they weren't launched yet and i wasn't giving them away because no. i'm obsessed with this it's something that I've loved since the 90s, really. I mean, I don't think glosses yeah. ever go out. No. They absolutely. always look fresh and dewy and, yeah. and attractive on the skin. Yeah, and glosses are always in glossy lips. Yeah, I know it's something that we brought with us from the 90s. Oh, that, that is so much gloss. And that's, that's the cherry. Beautiful. So I don't know if people would like to see that on the back of my hand, just to give you an idea. So that's the doe foot applicator. It hugs the lip really well. And this is what the colour looks like on the back of my hand. So you do get a sheer application and it is buildable. Mm -hmm. It is definitely buildable. You know, Noni, you told me before you can actually mix these colors. I love mixing them because if something looks a little bit too red or a little bit too pink, even the orange, I'm obsessed with that. Apricot? Apricot color, Ooh. yes. While you wouldn't imagine that as something you, it d does not come out like that. Like no. You see the natural lip tone through that, and yep. it just gives a lovely peachy glow. It does. I'm yeah. actually wearing the apricot right now, so mm. you can see that it is very, um, very natural. Um, now, last, last the final step. Final step is this make fix makeup, right? This mm -hmm. setting spray. Mm -hmm. I have found an absolute lifesaver through all this humid weather that we've been having, mm -hmm. because a lot of makeup will just slide off the face. Mm -hmm. This will keep it all day. Fantastic. And that's our Fix Makeup Spray that holds your makeup, keeps it. It's got rose and grapefruit and all the beautiful things that actually hydrate the skin while fixing your makeup. Olivia, you look beautiful. Thank you. Thanks, guys. 
Noni, that's fantastic. Isn't she stunning? Keep your comments coming. Keep your questions coming for uh, for our beautiful guest, Noni Smith Makeup. Now, we are looking at the lashes that our beautiful model is wearing, and I know you prepped them earlier. We did. But what did we prep them with, Noni? We prepped them with the Wonder Perfect. Yep. Is it 4D? The 4D, mascara? absolutely. Yes, this... the fourth dimension. This will oh, take my them goodness. Into. I'll just Vol pop a little volume, bit more on now. Thickness. This almost more. gives a false lash effect. It is beautiful. It's lovely. All the Clarins mascaras have been amazing, actually. They're beautiful. And also time. all the brushes are painted to us. So the formulas don't have any fillers. They're made up of beautiful waxes that actually look after your lashes and help promote growth with the panthenol. So we are really very, very lucky. I just want to show them the brush on this because it's so beautiful and thick and it catches all the product. Noni, you look, you've done an amazing job. Thank you so much. Olivia, and I, you look gorgeous. I, I just want to say, while she does look a little shiny here, yeah. it's mostly from the ring light, guys. Yeah. This will <laughs> look true. a lot more matte in real daylight. And you can always powder down if you want a little bit, uh, a little bit less shiny and less glowy. But Olivia, you look absolutely gorgeous. Thanks, Noni. Thank you for having me, guys. I've had so much fun. I hope you've all enjoyed that. Keep your comments coming. Keep your questions coming. We've got amazing moderators online that are able to answer all of your questions. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again. Awesome. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye.